Hello, and welcome back to the channel. We're back, and this ain't no GP2, as you can see. Uh, I haven't had any time to practice for our GP2 season for the fifth round in Catalonia. Uh, instead, I decided it's time to have a little affair, give a little love to the channel. Uh, but don't worry, it's, a f it's an affair with a relative. Uh, of GP2, I mean. <laughs> yeah, this is weird. Uh, yeah, this is GP4, and uh, with a triple monitor setup. If, you, if you're interested of how to get this to work, check out the video description. You've, you'll find a link to my blog, where you'll find uh, instructions how to, how to get the triple monitor setup to work. This is with 1440p resolution, and the game looks amazing. I was astonished when I, when I started this game. Uh, but yeah, just a little fun race here in Sao Paulo. Uh, wait a minute, it's what 14 laps race uh, with the pro difficulty. This is not even the hardest difficulty because I suck at this game. Uh, just a little relaxed fun race without any practicing. Starting from the back of the grid, goal is to survive the race. So less talking, more driving, let's go. Here we go. It's trying to ne negotiate through the first corner alive and take it from there. A little bit of wheel spin. But an okay start. Okay, let's take it easy. Please don't kill me. Holy crap, we are, we're at the 12th! A pretty decent start. Uh, going to defend here. Oh, he, is he really going at it here? I wasn't sure if he was beside me. Oh, he was indeed. Lost the position, that's alright. Main thing the main thing is that we're still alive. Oh, very slow through there. Uh, yeah, I'm driving the Williams BMW with uh, Friedrich Bang, obviously. Oh, that guy's got a lot of straight line speed. A Benetton. Oh dear. I'm not doing too well here. Everybody's overtaking. That's all right, as I said, my goal is to survive. And in this race, my car performance is not team dependent, so... It is what it is. Whoa! Almost lost the rear of the car there. Mika Hakkinen, fastest lap of the race. I'm nowhere near him. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot more speed when we when we someday come to this game with our hardcore season series. 
I'm way too slow and, and as I said, this is the pro difficulty. I don't know if I'm... If, if my setup is, is the best. It seems that I'm quite fast in the mid sector. But there it ends. It might be deceptive though, because the mid sector is so slow, it just looks like you're closer than what you are, really. I think that was a better lap, but I can't, I can't keep up with the Benetton. I don't know which Benetton it is, because I can't see the information on the wheel. This field of view is, is just... Feels more natural to me. Come on, Friedrich Bang! We've gained on the Benetton quite a bit. But I don't know if we have enough straight line speed to go 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 past him. Uh, oops! Wide there. And there's a Jaguar behind me. And I'm blocking like hell. Defend! There is force feedback in this game, but currently I'm I'm kind of struggling to find the limits of the of the grip. I don't really feel the car all that well. I don't know if there's something I can do with the setup. Okay, let's try the to get the last corner right for a change. That was better. Come on, BMW. <laughs> BMW, that is. Yes, I can talk. Obviously when we'll start our hardcore season in GP4 sometime in the future uh, I'm not going to play with three monitors because that's a little bit tricky to stream on YouTube but um, It's a, it's a fun test to do, to do, and that was a horrible, horrible, horrible final corner once again. Still, P14. Oh, come on. 
had to defend against the Jaguar and lost a lot of time there. And have to defend again, but he's... Okay, he got past. Damn it. I must say this game is pretty awesome. And it looks gorgeous. Uh, I think I've said it three times already, but it, it really does. Uh, maybe the, the colors are a little bit cartoonish, but other than that, it, it looks great. But yeah, uh, the biggest problem I'm having, I, I really don't feel when the car is understeering. I'll have to figure that out at some point, because otherwise I'll, I'll end up being desperately slow. Benetton in front seems to be quite slow. Is that even a Benetton or some kind of a Renault or something? I'm actually not sure. Uh, 2001 was basically the, the season when I lost interest in Formula 1 and I'm not really very... Uh, okay, the Jaguar went past. Yeah, I'm not really very well aware of the uh, drivers and, and teams that season. I know Benetton disappeared at some point and was re replaced by Renault. Was it this year? The next one? I don't know. But I wanna overtake this guy no matter what. Also, in 2001, they had a, a traction control allowed in the in, in Formula One, and uh, I really don't know how that is implemented in this game. I know I I have the traction control off, but it still feels like you can push the throttle quite hard. Jos Verstappen in the pits. So I'm I'm not quite sure how how the traction control is modeled in this game. I really didn't play GP4 that much when when it came out. For the same reason, I I kind of lost interest in Formula One during that time period. It's very hard to get past because I'm... I think I'm... having too much downforce and I'm slow on straight line. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, maybe there's no... traction control. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm very fast in the mid sector, but there's no way overtaking there. And by the way, I have a new website, deadmeat.com, and I also moved my blog there because I'm a web designer and using uh, a blog platform kind of felt restrictive in my opinion. So I made my own website. Nothing too fancy, just a few hours of work. Oh man, this guy is very slow through there. Can't really get into his slipstream, unfortunately. Maybe now? No, I'm not close enough. Almost lost the rear there. Tried to get a very good exit, but I just can't keep up with him. Two laps left. As I said, our goal is to survive. Main goal, anyway. But I want to overtake this Renault or whatever it is. Not like this I am. No retirements. The only chance for Friedrich Bang to make any positions doesn't seem to be happening. And surprise, surprise, look who wins it.
No. I tried my best. But no, B15. Very, very underwhelming race, but it was kind of fun. Uh, as I said, I need to practice a lot uh, in order to have any kind of decent season in the future here uh, with, with the hardcore series of Grand Prix games. Uh, but hopefully it's also a setup thing. I think I, I was having way too much downforce in this game uh, in this race and the car was just very slow on straight line. Or it just might be the driver. But yeah, here enjoy the beautiful menus by the way. Uh, the game itself uh, the game itself works very well with triples, but the menus are really really bad. But yeah, enough. That's that's the race. Thanks for watching. Go check out uh, go check out my website and uh, the instructions on how to get this game working with triple monitors. Uh, see you next time and I'm guessing we'll see you in Spain in GP2 with our hardcore season. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.